Hello and welcome, Delta Force Mobile Chinese version is available and there's a huge hype, which I can understand because it's a great game, so another surprise that the whole world wants to play it. Yesterday I've been struggling, I spent hours making it happen, but at the end of the day I could successfully install and log in on both Android for myself and on iPad for my son. And with this step-by-step -step guide, I, I really hope I can help some of you. There are a bunch of guides already on YouTube explaining pretty much the same, but maybe I can tell something which is not covered in those videos, which is gonna be helpful for you. There are gonna be three challenges, okay? First one is downloading the game itself. Second one is like logging into the game. And third one is like understanding what you see on screen. And we're gonna tackle all three for both Android and iOS. So we have a bunch of devices here. I'm gonna start with Android and explain how to download. Actually, uh, there are two ways. First one is to hop to Chrome and then type in m.3839.com. And then you can download this app, which is similar to Google Play, a Chinese version. It's like, you know, the Epic Games and, and those type of things. And after you download this, then within this app, you can download Delta Force. Oops, sorry, I'm not looking, not, not showing it into the camera. This is, this is the app you want to download. It's not that sharp, but it's, it has a green icon and some kind of popcornish type of thing. The other option would be to simply search for download Delta Force Mobile in your Chrome. And then you have a website called Up to Down, this one. I don't know how legit this website is. It seems to be a legit one, but I'm not going to take the risk. So if you want to go ahead and use this, I've been using it. I didn't have any issues, but it's up to you. So that's it for Android. It's pretty easy and straightforward. You will be able to install the game, but obviously you cannot log in yet. So let's hop over to iOS because that's more complicated. The first thing you want to do is to create a new Apple ID and then you log out from your existing Apple ID from your iPhone or iPad and then register that as an account where the location is China mainland. And basically you don't need to um, add any like payment info and such. What you're going to need is the address and um, phone number and it, it can be all fake. Let me jump over to my PC and you can use any of these fake um, address generators. As you can see, if I refresh, I think you're going to get something else. But basically what you're going to need is the street, the city, town, the state or region. And then when you register your Apple ID with the China mainland, then you simply want to go into the um, into the Apple Store and you're going to see the Chinese version of the Apple Store. I cannot show it to you right now because I already logged back into my original one, which you should do. So after downloading the game from the Apple Store, then, you know, you have it on your device, on your iPad, on your iPhone, then you log back to your original Apple ID. You don't need to stay in that fake account. We just need that to download the game itself. So we got to the point where you have installed the game and we need to somehow log into the game. I'm going to show you a striking difference, okay? On my Red Magic, maybe it's not going to be um, sharp enough, but we have two login options down here. We have WeChat and QQ. And on iPad, it's somewhat different because there's only one login option, which is QQ. And this is why I had to spend like an additional two hours to figure out what to do on iOS. But again, I'm going to start with, um, with Android. And some of the people say that it's easier to register to QQ. Um, but I think that's, that's not true. I've been spending hours, like literally two or three hours trying to uh, register to QQ. I've been using all kind of, you know, virtual um, phone number generators. And for every single phone number, the QQ app said that it's not secure. I cannot uh, register. I've been trying it with my personal mobile phone number. I've been also trying the, these um, online versions. I tried different countries. Um, I, 
I've tried countries uh, that are close to China. I've been trying Chinese um, mobile phone numbers. I've been trying uh, UK, US, Germany, all kinds of numbers, and it was all the same. I even reached out to someone who is living in UK with a, with a legit UK phone number, and even that person couldn't register. So I pretty much gave up on QQ and I think the only way to get into QQ would be to have somebody from China who can open an account for you and then send you the login credentials. I think that's the only way because QQ got more strict. You can choose anything from the list, but it's not going to work. I think it only works with China mainland uh, phone numbers, but I want to focus on WeChat. So WeChat, I have one more phone here. I'm going to switch back to this. So this is going to be the login screen or the starting screen. And on the right hand side, you have sign up. And uh, this camera is so bad, by the way, it doesn't focus properly. It's a Logitech C something, you know, I just found on my desk. But anyways, you have three options, sign up with mobile, um, with Apple or Facebook. Obviously, if you are on Android, then you're not going to have the Apple option. You know, you're just going to have the sign up with mobile and sign up with Facebook. Hopefully you have the sign up with Facebook because if you don't have the sign up with Facebook, then I, I'm not sure how I'm going to help you. Because if you try to sign up with the mobile, it's going to be pretty much the same what we had on QQ. Regardless of what you choose, most likely you're not going to be able to register. I didn't spend as much time as I spend with QQ. But since the app offers like the Apple sign-in and the Facebook sign-in, I went with the Facebook sign-in, okay? You don't need to have an iPhone or iPad. Uh, you don't need to have an Apple ID. I think that I could actually register with Apple as well, but Facebook worked and I did it twice, okay? So it wasn't just a coincidence that I could uh, sign up with, with, uh, with Facebook. The registration process is not too complicated. You sign up with Facebook, then you need to have a mobile phone number. You get a verification code to that mobile phone number. It can be a local phone number, so it doesn't need to be a phone number from China. And then, uh, you know, it's, you are in the app and everything is just fine. And with this, we pretty much solve the Android version because if I click on WeChat, don't forget to check this agree to terms and conditions. So if I click on that, then I'm going to be moved to the screen where I can authenticate and I did it already once. So it's going to let me in. And as you can see, it was my name, Shady Fox. So this is, this is how to log into Android. It's the easier one. Before we move on, guys, uh, I just want to show you that in WeChat, it's worth setting the name and WeChat ID, the WeChat ID by default is a random you know, combination of numbers and letters. So I did that. You can set the profile picture and whatnot. You need to give the um, app some permissions, but then you're, you're off to go. You don't need to touch that anymore. All right, iOS version. This was way more complicated for me and I'm gonna tell you why. So after I logged in or opened the game, I saw one single login button and I was like, <laughs> desperately like thinking about what to do because I didn't expect that. I expected to have a WeChat login and a QQ login because I already knew how to like register to WeChat. So this is where I got stuck. And only hours later, I found out that here on the right hand side, you have this QR code icon. So if I check the terms and conditions and tap on that, um, barcode icon, you're going to have two options, a QQ and a WeChat. And if you tap on the WeChat, then it opens a page where you're going to see a QR code. So what you want to do is to have another device where you have WeChat installed. I've been using this iPhone, but maybe you can also do a screenshot, put it onto a screen and use the same device to scan the QR code. I don't know if that works for me. It was just easier to have another device. There you go. This is another WeChat account. It's not the same as the one I showed you. Let me just quickly go back. So this is, this is mine. There you go. You're going to see it side by side. There you go. I have the two side by side. 
And I've been using the same registration method with Facebook um, to have a second WeChat account for my son. And here in the app, you have a discover button down here and then a scan option. And basically you can scan that code, that QR code, and then it's pretty much the same. We allow um, WeChat to authenticate. And then as you do it on your phone, you can see in the background that it's already logging in and you can see SQL Ninja. So it's a different account. It's iOS, different WeChat. It's completely separate. So guys, we are done with the lion part of the work, okay? Because we are in the game. I was I was so relieved after I could make it happen on, on iPad, really, because Android was much easier. Um, the only challenge you're gonna have is that everything is in Chinese, including settings and everything. And um, there are two options I can offer, okay? Let me jump back, showing my PC. And one of them is an app called easy screen translator. You can download it for both um, iPhone and also for Android. Actually, the easy screen translator might be connected to easy screen recorder. That's a great app. Uh, I'm using that for offline recording. So I think it it's worth giving it a shot. And basically what it does is that after giving it permissions, you can take a screenshot while you are in the game and it's going to return a translated version into your language. If you have any better suggestions for the app, like the translation app, then feel free to leave that in the comment section. Um, I've not been trying this, by the way, because the way I've been doing it is that I installed Google Translate. Oh, let me just go back. There you go. What I can do is to use this phone and with the camera, as you can see, it automatically translates what you have in Chinese. So for me, this, this method or version was easier because I have this phone next to me. And whenever I don't know what it means, I just hover it. But I think most of you will want to use the translation app, which is on the same device and you just press a button and then you're going to see the translated version. So I think the third one was the easiest to overcome. Over time, you're going to be also, you know, understanding like what the menu items are. But uh, I think there's just so much text in the game that without a translator or without um, at least translating parts of the game, you're not going to understand it. So guys, we are done. The only last thing we're going to suffer from is the ping, but <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. Don't even try like tricking with VPN. It, it, it's not going to help, okay? So if you think that by using any type of app, you can lower your ping, it's just physically impossible. If you're from Europe or, you know, a country that is far away from China, then this is what it is. But I think the game is still absolutely playable. So ladies and gents, the only last thing that remains that you hop into the game and start playing if you have any additional questions, then feel free to use the comment section, or you can also jump to my Discord and ask me directly in the Delta Force um, chat. I hope I can help, but if you are facing some kind of registration uh, limitation that applies to your country, then most likely I cannot help. In that case, I would encourage you to um, check out the guides that other creators uh, published. I saw one from IMO, Exotic Gaming, I think also IROS, and I think there are a bunch of more. Maybe they are sharing something which I didn't cover. But anyways, I hope it works for you. Should loot, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye.